uh, this idea, and if you will, I'm going to give you the six most common reasons that our clients experience intense emotions. But yes. the, num- the, the number one for us is you hurt me. Which is which is a you have you have violated my boundaries. You've violated my space. You've hurt my feelings. You you've caused me to not trust you. Yes, you go, uh, and, and therefore they're going to respond in some some physical way, some emotional way, mm-hmm. because you know they feel like you violated them. Number two, you hurt someone I love. Right, which is another violation of my boundaries. But in this case, I've extended my boundaries to people around me that I believe are important. And so when you don't treat my child well, for example, let's suppose you're dating my, my daughter and mm-hmm. you know I, I perceive that you're not treating her the way she should be treated, I'll be upset with you sure. for not treating my daughter the and, way and, I want And I'm to sure that you've experienced this. Sometimes you find yourself angry at a person that you've never met, but you heard the story of what they did to someone you know. Uh huh. <laughs> so now you're angry at them, but you yeah. really don't know that person. So that was number two. You heard someone right. you love that you hurt someone that I love. That's right. Number three, you don't listen to how I feel. Oh, I hear that one all the time. Yeah. It's like the number one thing right behind we don't communicate is she don't listen. <laughs> you know, a sidebar to that is often women accuse men of listening to collect information to prove me wrong. But you're not listening to what my emotions are. You're not listening yeah. to what I feel. Mm-hmm. Uh, number four. You refuse to change or meet my needs. Right. And that and that implies rigidity. You have your way of thinking, your way of being, and you're not you're you're not going to do anything to modify yourself, to fit in, to compromise, to to work on our relationship that, so that it can be a good one. So so this um, if you will, results in a person being angry because mm-hmm. they're frustrated. I've asked you to do these things for me. You say you're not, yet you tell me in a relationship, we like to remind the listeners that we define Love is a process, not a destination, Right. but an assertive sort of dedication. dedication to co-labor, collaboratively build a lasting relationship right. with a willing partner. Mm-hmm. So when we don't see that collaboration, so now, if you will, go back to that. You refuse to change. You refuse to meet my needs. You're too mm-hmm. rigid. You will not respond to me in a collaborative way, but you say you love me. Right. Okay. Number five, you tried to change. You promised me you would change to my expectations, mm-hmm. but now I've realized it's not possible. Right. It's not going to happen. And here, you know, we can get into this because sometimes I you may look at somebody in your life and, and see their potential and you go on what you see them, what they could be. And you may start there. So in this notion, I, I have you making promises to me that you've really tried hard, but they're mm-hmm. not it's not going to happen. And, and where I see this come out was where I, I've had a man or a woman, if you will. Uh, you know, anger is not gender specific. No, it's not. And, and, and I had that person. Uh, get frustrated because their partner keeps promising they're going to go to real estate school or they're going to sell some property in their with their license mm-hmm. or they're going to go to college and get a degree, whether it be nursing or a bachelor's degree, and they never do it. Mm-hmm. But they keep promising you they will. See, that's I different can't from pass the one. chemistry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have this one course. I just can't pass it. You I can know, only and... learn how to read. I guess I could <laughs> take the test. <laughs> But but you, you know, see where funny. we're going with this, whereas the one before that was about rigidity, this one's about promises not kept. Right. And then finally, the another of the, the six of the most common reasons that clients experience intense emotions is you really don't appreciate all that I've done for you. That's right. That's my sixth and last one. Things I do around here that, that keep your life working. Um, that I do because maybe I love you. And so I may, may or may not keep track. I, lots of times people don't keep track initially, but they do keep track once they're not feeling appreciated. Yeah. Now I've got the entire list and the number of times that I've done that. <laughs> if you, when I get upset, I'm going to pull it out 37 days in a row, 37 days in a row. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not going to throw men under the bus, but I see a lot of women that really are offended that I do all this work as the mother of the children, the housekeeper mm-hmm. of the home, and I get no appreciation for it. Yeah. Uh, as we move down to 